Uh, we're here in Carrollton Bend as part of our 2012-2013 revetment season. Uh, we're laying articulated concrete mat into the river uh, channel. You see behind me, that's a mat barge with uh, individual squares on it. We lay it up on the mat boat behind that. We take the mat boat behind it, we take it to the bank, we tie it off, tie the mattress off to the bank, and then it load individual squares onto the barge, tie them together with a tying tool, and slowly back the mat boat out until we get to the desired limits. What that uh, provides is protection for the levee. Uh, with the high water, the levees will wash out. There'll be scour in the, actually in the channel that'll wash the levees out, wash the bank out, wash the levees out. Uh, so this mattress provides a, a protection for that to keep the levees from going into the river. Uh, in the upper districts, Memphis and Vicksburg, it also not only does it help protect the levees, but it helps protect the shipping channel to keep commerce moving on the river. It's ar articulated so that it gives it some flexibility and allows it to contour to the river bottom and provide coverage without a gap. We do this every year. Our typical season is a, a four-month season. Uh, this year we're going seven to eight months. Uh, we're repairing a lot of the damage from the 2011 flood. Next year will also be a long season. If you took all the concrete that we're laying and just laid it out flat in the field, you'd cover about a thousand acres. Uh, it's about 45,000 concrete trucks worth of concrete. Uh, most of our crew is from Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Tennessee. We live on the quarter boats. Uh, that's three floating two-story dormitories. It has a power barge with it. It's fully self-sustained. It makes its own water, processes its own sewer, makes its own power. The only thing we have to have brought to us is we have to have groceries and we have to have fuel. Other than that, we could stay out here you know, as long as we needed to. We work 10 hours a day, uh, 12 days straight, and then we get off for two days. We go home every other Friday and then they're off every other Saturday and Sunday. We have a small crew that works the off weekend doing maintenance and, and other small things around the plant that needs to be done, but the majority of the crew goes home every other weekend. Safety is paramount to us. Uh, when we brought this crew in to start working, we took uh, four to five days to actually go over step by step what their job was, how to do the, went over their PHAs, their AHAs, uh, you know, have the supervisors closely supervise them at a slow pace before we let them go at the pace that they're comfortable at. Uh, we're at 51 days without a lost time accident. We expect to be done for the year. Right now the schedule says March 12th. Uh, that'll be finishing up back up in the Vicksburg district. We'll go to Tropical Bend late next week. That'll be the farthest south that we'll work and then we'll begin to work our way back north. Uh -huh.